let's continue working with some more options uh, in WPF uh, right now we have one input field one label and a button and uh, let's assume we have a multiple buttons over here and then uh, we want to have a multiple even handlers so let's uh, uh, let's uh, do this so let's uh, create a small uh, calculator example uh, in which we are going to have uh, two input in which we are going to input uh, two numbers so let's uh, rename it as uh, let's say number one and uh, I will just copy and paste these two and drag them like this and uh, this is another label which is number two and this is a text box uh, before it was text txt name so I will call it txt num1 and uh, this one is txt txt num2 alright and uh, let's reduce their size a bit so and uh, move this button over there and let's uh, rename this button as uh, something else mm, for example uh, sum let's assume we are going to perform a sum operation so sum or even we can have an operator like this and we definitely need to have a resu result over here so I will rename it as uh, btn sum and we have an even even handler attached which, which is btn show so let's uh, rename it is as btn sum and I will go and rename this as btn sum and this is now txt num1 and txt num2 and uh, this is num1 right and I can also concatenate some more let's say num2 plus this dot txt num2 dot text alright and uh, this is num1 this is num2 this is txt1 txt num1 txt num2 and now it will just display the numbers at uh, which were the numbers I just input into the system so 22 and 33 so I press plus operator so num1 is 22 and num2 is 33 so 22 and 33 all right similarly we can have uh, we can actually perform um, uh, arithmetic operation actually so to do this I definitely need to sum up these two values now the thing is this uh, text is a string now we cannot perform arithmetic operation between two string values definitely I need to convert this into uh, a, a number type so to do this I have several options in dot net uh, one simplest option is int dot parse and this option is available with also with the double dot parse as well and similarly with the float with the byte and uh, with the short short dot parse like this so uh, let's uh, choose uh, one of these let's say in dot parse in dot parse will definitely take a string and it will convert this into a uh, two bit signed uh, uh, integer value so I will convert this into an integer let's say for example uh, num1 and similarly I will do this for num2 as well so now this time I am going to use let's say for example uh, let's let's rephrase this and say that uh, num1 plus plus num2 
plus equal to num1 plus num2 so in this case I am going to perform arithmetic operation over here so actually I am looking for to display a result at 5 plus 6 is equal to um, 11 so I want to display this kind of message in my message box so I actually added a plus operator between num1 and num2 and this time they are actually integer and I can also perform an arithmetic operation between these two so it will calculate this and will show the result so 2 and 4 so 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 <coughs> Uh, similarly, we can have another uh, operator over here, which is uh, let's say for example, um, didn't copy, so paste it. No, I I think it did not copy. So Control C, Control V. Oh, it's not copying. I don't know why. So. it's not copying oh, oh yes it's it actually copied now so this is another operator let's say for example I can have it as a subtract so I will name it as a subtract operator and in this case it is actually targeting the same uh, uh, operator over there uh, same event handler over there which is the sum so both uh, buttons now actually attached with the same callback function in this case it's attached with the btn sum click this one is attached with the, this one is also attached with btn sum so if if you actually double click it will open the editing mode of the button so i can actually change the content right over there so actually i want to open the event handler so don't need to worry about this so i can just go from here all right so this is my event now in both cases it will actually uh, perform the same uh, function which is uh, addition operation but I want to separate this uh, because this is subtract and this is uh, the um, sum operation so I can actually press control spacebar and it will give me an option to add a new event handler so if I enter this it will use the uh, name of this uh, object which is uh, btn sub and it will add underscore click depending upon the type of um, event that you are going to use and it actually added a method over there so i can reuse this code and <coughs> i can just change this and definitely this so now I have two functions uh, in my this application where I can perform an addition and the subtraction so 4 and 2 so if I press uh, plus operator so 4 plus 2 is 6 and this is minus 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 all right the point I am going to make over here is that uh, when we have another event handler, let's say for example for uh, multiplication and division and the mod and so on. So let's say for example mult and div like this. So instead of having multiple event handlers, why don't we make our code the generic one? so generic means that i am going to have a single event handler but this single event handler will be attached will be attached with uh, all the buttons over there so 
uh, let's say for example you have seen in the uh, before like this one is was attached with this same event which was a btn sum so let's uh, let's add some more buttons over there so so let's try to copy this one and paste so we have another one so again i am going to paste we have another one so little bit alignment problem like this all right so this one is uh, let's call it uh, btn mult let's call this one as btn div and this is mult and this is dev and this one is actually attached with btn sum btn sum btn sub all right so i want to make a generic event which is let's say for example uh, let's let's make it btn operation and i want to attach all my buttons with the same callback function and definitely i'm going to go and rename this one and i can actually delete all of these and actually i can identify which button actually called this event handler so the sender actually has the information so i can actually use a breakpoint over here and see what we got in the sender when we uh, click that button so i will just actually comment this one so when i press a button uh, this uh, event will be called and uh, we have a breakpoint over there so 4 5 and if i press this operator let's see what we have in a sender the sender is a type of uh, button and uh, uh, it has all the properties because the sender is a type of button and you can see the content is in uh, plus operator and similarly if i press uh, f5 to just continue and if i press this button so i have a sender over here which is a type of button and in this case the content is uh, minus and similarly if i continue with others so in this case uh, the content is this multiplier and similarly if i go down and uh, see the name so we are getting the object name which means that i can compare with the object name and i can decide that which method actually called this so i'll just stop this and i can compare and i can decide that which type of operation i need to perform over there so i can see that <coughs> sender i can actually directly typecast a sender into a button because i know that the sender is uh, uh, is of type button but to be safe I can actually check the type of this sender uh, uh, and I can see that uh, this sender is actually a button and then I can later on typecast that uh, let's say that it's a button so I can actually convert this <coughs> into a button object so let's make it a button object let's say btn or let's say for the operator Operator is a keyword. That's op. So op is button sender. So I just convert this into a button, and then I can actually make it a scene. I can use if condition. I can use a switch, depending upon what I actually want to do this and how do I want to do this. So op. So operator is 
btn btn let's say sum sorry so op is btn sum so op use unassigned local variable uh, okay so there is a possibility that we don't get it over there so actually it must go inside this. so if it's a sum so i can actually show a message box depending upon the type and uh, similarly else if op is btn sub so actually i can say that i need to perform subtraction operation so in this case i can check the sender if it's a button i actually type cast is uh, into a uh, button object and now we have all the properties i can even get the content if i want to match with uh, with the help of content we can uh, also have a name property and all other properties as well so let's run this and uh, five and four so if I perform an arithmetic option which is a plus so 5 plus 4 is 9 and for this 5 minus 4 is 1 and we don't have anything because we have not handled these two uh, type of uh, operations over there so I can actually check this as well and uh, let's do this I can, I can actually reduce the line of code by just using a single line over here so let's do this I can also use switch if I want so btn mult so in this case I am saying that I am going to perform a multiplication operation and uh, <coughs> similarly for div btn div run this so 10 5 10 5 15 uh, 5 50 10 5 is 2 all right so uh, maybe uh, let's say for example i want to show this uh, result in uh, in, a, in a result uh, label over there so i just copy this and then just paste and i can say that and another paste the result is i can change the content to say that result and by default let's say for example it has zero value like this and I can actually increase the size like this so now I want to show the result uh, in this box and uh, I can also ch change the, uh, the, the direction of this uh, text maybe this text starts from here and then grow uh, from right to left uh, I can do this uh, from the properties uh, so let's uh, keep the result over there and uh, I can have an integer because we are performing an integer operation so I will say the result by default it's zero and I can actually comment out this one and I will say that result is actually the addition of these two numbers and similarly I can say that the result is the 
subtraction and the result is multiplication and in this case the result is division and I can uh, use the name this time I'm I need to have a name uh, because I want to access the object and set the content so I will say LBL LBL short for label of result so LBL result I can use this operator if I don't want to use it that's fine dot content is equal to result now the thing is uh, I am actually using this single result variable and I'm actually assigning this value to this one and the thing is that if it's not a sender I can actually choose to have it over here like this so if it's a button and then I convert this into a button type and actually I match this if it's a sum it's a subtra uh, sub subtraction button multi multiplication or the uh, or the division button so I can actually change the content of this uh, label instead of showing this message box so let's call them 10 and 5 so I say plus minus multiply and the division operator All right. so in the uh, this case uh, we can actually have uh, several uh, buttons uh, in this case we have uh, four buttons and uh, similarly if we want to have uh, a single event handler which actually handles the operation or the all the operators we have a single event and we are actually identifying uh, with the help of sender right Similarly, what about if we are taking input uh, from a user, just like uh, just like we have uh, uh, default Windows calculator? Uh, when we press these buttons, we actually don't enter values over here. We don't type in like this. Uh, although this window actually supports the uh, key input, but we don't have text box over here and uh, I can just type in uh, on this window and it will actually uh, handle these uh, uh, key events uh, and I can have these buttons I can press these like this and uh, in this case I can actually use a single event handler and uh, I can use a label to display these buttons so this single event handler would be handling all the operands so these are the operands and these are the operators we have uh, over here and uh, 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 in this case uh, instead of having several event handlers I can use a single event handler I can identify which button was uh, pressed with the help of uh, this and uh, I can achieve my goals alright in next video we will discuss about uh, some more um, uh, controls we have in the uh, toolbox such as checkbox, radio and list box etc. Alright, see you then.